And when you remove the cover, you discover really all the changes that we have made. You increase your storage size by 9.6 kilowatt hour increments. Here, you increase your uh, storage size by 5.4 kilowatt hour increments. This is simpler, this is easier to work with, and this is more affordable. The smarter way to go solar. All right, guys, we're back with Geo here from Fortress Power at InterSolar 2025. Now we're looking at the Fortress Power E-Flex Max, the new E-Flex Max battery. So uh, Geo, for those that aren't as familiar, can you kind of walk us through what is new with this latest generation of the E-Flex Max? Yeah, so what is new is that we have a redesigned cover. So from here below, even uh, with the previous E-Flexes, you had um, BMS, control uh, systems, and obviously the cells. Same situation here, but the way the connectors are, that has changed because the way you interconnect the E-Flexes has also been uh, modified so that you retain the same um, interconnection options that you had before, but with the new one, you also have more simplified approach available as well. Uh, we also have the breakers added right here, each of them uh, for 125 amps. You can access them, put it on or off. We have power button, just like we had with old uh, E-Flexes, but now it's electronically latched rather than mechanically. Um, also, we have the LED board. Uh, we had LED board previously too, but now this LED board not only shows the state of charge, but it also shows the protocol ID. Just like you know, E-Flex Max batteries are recommended to be used with the NV inverters, but they are um, inverter agnostic. So rather than connecting computer and changing the protocol ID, you can do that with the power button. Okay. Yeah. Now you said there's something that changed too with this little interconnection section here. So what's this? Yes. So uh, with this cover, the E-Flex Maxes are um, outdoor rated. Uh, the previous E-Flex Maxes were outdoor rated too. They were IP65 rated, um, but you had to use different covers then that, than what we are using right here. Also, before I move uh, any further, I wanted to mention that UL9540A certificate, the E-Flexes, the previous generation E-Flexes, uh, they had with the Durarac only. Now these individual units are UL9540A certified that just to um, emphasize that. And when you remove the cover, you discover really all the changes that we have made. All right, so now that we have everything exposed here, explain to me what are we looking at here? It looks like we've got some battery interconnect. Correct. So these orange, they're not really cables, but you can think of them as wires or cables. They establish the connection between the uh, E-Flex Max batteries. So one end connects to one battery, the other one connects to other battery, and you see we have two of them. This one is positive and this one is negative. So and this is, looks like a parallel connection between the yes, two batteries. Yes, okay. exactly. This establishes the parallel connection between the two E-Flex Max units, and you also have uh, communication ports here and here. Okay. So these um, communications are established uh, between the batteries, and then the uh, first battery, uh, the one that is to be connected to the inverter, also receives the conduit adapter. Okay. So you can have the covers on, you can have these, um, let's call them cables for our purposes, these, these cables on, uh, and you have the conduit adapter and the communication cables, and all of this is included with the Eflex Max. And then they all come together through the conduit adapter and go to the inverter, making the installation way easier and also it's all neatly covered. But that is not to say that you could not uh, connect the batteries uh, as you were doing so previously. For example, you can still install regular cables here and here and create a big bus bar. And that bus bar really combine all the batteries because the uh, limit here on such interconnection is uh, up to four batteries. You cannot have more than that because these uh, cables are not strong enough to handle, let's say five or six batteries worth of peak discharge. Makes sense, makes yes. sense. So you said it's, it's maximum four? Maximum four, four with these orange connectors. Yes. Okay. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Figure. If you're considering financing the purchase of a solar or battery storage system for your home, then you need to take a look at the new Figure Home Equity line of credit. The Figure HELOC offers a lower fixed interest rate, no dealer fees, flexible payment terms, auto pay discount, 
and multiple draws if you need to expand your system in multiple phases. Loans are available up to $400,000, and interest may be tax-deductible, saving you thousands compared to a traditional solar loan. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent, and you'll want to avoid all the hidden fees and higher rates of solar loans, then check out the figure HELOC. You can go directly to the figure website or click the link in the description below, apply online in as little as five minutes, and get funding in as few as five days. But then you said earlier, is it, is it minimum two batteries then to power? Yes. So this, so, is your, this is your 8K inverter, right? Yes, correct. So um, we have sizing guides in place. For example, when we were talking about e-forces, um, you need at least two e-force batteries per NV 12 kilowatt inverter. You need three E-Flexes at least per, per NV True 12 inverter. But for NV 8K, which we see right here, or NV 10K, which is visually identical, but it has uh, slightly better per performance characteristics, it outputs two uh, kilowatts um, more AC power, uh, you can have two batteries. So for example, if this is uh, 8K, you can get away with uh, only two E-Flex Maxes, and that essentially, the way you see it, would be the most budget-friendly package that you can get from Fortress Power. Two E-Flex Maxes and one AK inverter. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. And, you know, for the, 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 the configuration that we're looking at here, where are you going to find this? Is it mostly going to be in an off-grid application, or do you see it more for grid-type battery backup? Yeah, um, it's difficult to tell because the uh, this new um, iteration of E-Flex Max uh, has been on the market for, I want to say, three months now. So definitely we will see them in the off-grid applications, but also I believe we will see them in the grid-tied applications as well for the customers that are looking for more modularity than what you get with eForces. Because as we said with eForces, uh, the modularity there is really only 9.6 kilowatt hours. So you increase your storage size by 9.6 kilowatt hour increments. Here, you increase your uh, storage size by 5.4 kilowatt hour increments. So with three E-Flex Maxes, you can have around 16 kilowatt hours of um, uh, storage. With two E-Forces, you have 19.2. With one E-Force, you have 19.6. So three of these sit right in the middle and you still have ease of interconnection with these built-in connectors. Um, and you have the very good um, performance figures that can actually max out your 12K inverter on the battery side. Now, Gio, how does that compare with the previous generation E-Flex? Was the previous generation five kilowatt hours even? Yes, um, the previous E-Flex is very much comparable to this one because um, that was 5.4 kilowatt hours, this one is 5.4 kilowatt hours. But what changed is uh, general pricing of the unit. And what also changed is that we didn't have the breaker now we have the breaker and previously because we did not have the breaker we could have arbitrary number for uh, overcurrent that was 130 amps here we have 125 amps of peak uh, current flow from the battery other than that as the package really you can think of it by package i mean something that delivers power and energy very similar but as the package that you actually go in the field and connect to the inverter and extract the energy out of this is simpler, this is easier to work with, and this is more affordable. Great. So where can folks find this now? If they're homeowners or installers out there that want to get their hands on the new E-Flex Max battery, where, where are you selling? Our distribution partners um, must have them available. Uh, they can always uh, call our sales line and ask where they could find the um, E-Force and E-Flex batteries because I'm a solutions engineer. <laughs> I don't know the logistics, what happens behind, who sells them, and how we get this to the customers. What I know is that we get the quality made product with a great value to the customer. Great. Well, again, folks, this is a quick chat with Geo here at Fortress Power, looking at the new E-Flex Max battery from Fortress Power. They've got new interconnection process, uh, battery level circuit breaker, uh, the conduit adapter here. So again, designed for nice, clean, efficient install between the battery and the inverter system. Uh, but that pretty much does it for today's presentation. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. We're trying to get this thing over 100,000 this year. Uh, and of course, we're coming to the conferences like InterSolar, we'll be at RE+, we'll be at the NAPSEP conference uh, to make sure that you out there, you all stay up to date with all the latest product and technology information. 
Uh, but that pretty much does it. Gio, thanks for taking Absolutely. some My more pleasure. time with us. My pleasure, Joe. Uh, and as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. <laughs> thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.